Good morning, family. It's your boy Bishop back with another vlog. Sunday morning, um, just with the family, hanging out. I'm kind of getting prepared for dinner. This is a dinner that's probably going to take me about five to six hours. Reason being, I'm smoking a whole chicken today. Yes. So I need to get it prepared. It is currently almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, that would mean this meal will be done, you know, for like lunch, lunchtime, supper. Uh, so to get it started, I need at least an hour ahead to just brine my chicken. If you're familiar with brines at all, this is pretty much just like a water salt solution. It, it kind of brings out the moisture and the juiciness in the meat. Um, for me, I like to use pickle juice, salt, water. Uh, it's got vinegar in it and different like pepper juices, maybe even some fruit juices. Um, I'll, I'll add sugar into that brine as well. So I got a mixture, a combination of different things, pickled items and fruit juices. I'm going to put together in combination with some salt and then we're going to soak the chicken in it for about an hour. So yes, love, what do you have to say about it? So pickle and chicken, amazing. You should try it one day. Yeah, pickle and chicken is really good, especially when it's spicy pickle juice. I don't know, it's, it's not never like pickly really or spicy, it just does something to it. So we never throw away our pickle juice. If you buy pickles and you end up with all this pickle juice, some people pour it out, some people just get rid of it, save it, collect it, use it as a brine, soak your chicken legs in it, chicken wings, chicken breasts. Um, for a couple hours, I poke them sometimes and I just let the, the juice like kind of penetrate the meat a little bit better. Um, and then it's just like a perfect brine. Even if it was a little pickly, sometimes you do get that flavor. It's actually pretty good. If you like fried pickles, you would love it. If you don't like fried pickles, you probably still would love it. So your next time you fry some chicken, soak it in some, some pickle juice and let me know what you think about it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and soak this chicken in my brine, mix all my juices together with my seasons. Uh, give it about an hour or so. I probably should give it a little bit longer. The longer the better. I probably should let it brine overnight. Now, normally when I brine something, I take it out the brine and I'll rinse it off um, so it's not like too brining. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off and do all that. So the other thing with the brine is I feel like the vinegar does something to the outside of the skin of the chicken and it makes it just super crispy and yummy. So, and I guess that probably has something to do with the sweetness and the sugars adding to the skin. It kind of like makes it super crispy. So that's something I'm looking for. Um, but I will be focusing on the crispiness on the second half of the cook. The first half, I just want to make sure I get that, that nice smoke ring in the inside. I want my, my meat to be nice and red. Um, I'm going to cook it low and slow, about 250 degrees. Um, and then after about two or three hours, when I know it's nice and done, I'm going to focus on getting the skin nice and crisp. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But this brine is really gonna help with that. So, yeah. It's crazy, I was talking to Kylie the other day, and I was like, oh, one of my favorite things to eat is chicken gizzards. And they're like, what's a chicken gizzard? Like, I don't even know what part of the body that is. And I told her, I said, you know when you like get a turkey or a chicken, you dig your hand deep inside to have these pieces, parts. This is actually the, like a chicken heart. This is the chicken's heart, chicken liver, and chicken gizzard. That's my favorite part, the, the gizzard. So um, well, sometimes we chop that up and put that in its flavorings, but it's inside of there. You don't throw that away. We keep all of that. But that's exactly what it is. She's like, I, I'm not eating chicken hearts. Like, you probably have eaten it. Your grandma probably chopped it up and put it inside her, her dressing when she did for Thanksgiving. So, chicken heart, chicken gizzard, chicken liver. Yummy. Want to see? Chicken liver? Want to see chicken heart? It's a chicken heart. Chicken gizzard. <laughs> Okay, so this vlog is technically a continuation of the previous vlog. Uh, there were some things I did in that previous vlog and talked about that I didn't get a chance to get to completely, which was the family bikes or going on bike rides or as well, Love just practicing her bike. The green bike has been here for weeks now, 
Shannon hasn't tried. She hasn't practiced riding it at all. It's not really her thing either, but it would be so much fun if we can get out as a family. Maybe she would enjoy it. I don't know. I figure we can try it. So Shannon needs to get on that. It's a little bit, a little bit of a learning curve because it is pretty fast. Uh, it is like riding a bike, but it's like riding a motorcycle at the same time. Love needs to, you know, practice riding her bike as well so we can get the training wheels off. So here in a little bit, we're going to take a break, go for some bike riding. As the chicken is grinding and kind of doing his thing, I'm going to straighten up the house a little bit. By that time, Shannon will be home. And yeah, maybe we can go on like family bike adventure. It's Sunday, it's still the weekend. It's nicer outside compared to the previous weekends. Fall is on the way. So let's get out and get practice. That way when, when it is really nice, we'll be all ready to go, ride to the park, ride to a lake, and just have some good family time. So yeah, let's get to it. Now another thing I know people were asking since we've been in this, this place, uh, like why didn't I do a tour? I, I really just didn't feel like it was like like house tour like material, I don't know. And we're still not really quite set up. We still haven't even hung our art up on the walls yet, maybe because we're still trying to figure that out of how we're gonna do it. But it's, uh, it's pretty basic. I mean, you've guys seen this area. You know, this is my kitchen slash office area. Had to put the kitchen table up yet, maybe because I'm in this area. I feel like I should go upstairs. I have an office up there that Shannon uses and it's kind of like my closet area. I'm not even gonna take you guys up there. It's a mess. One day it will happen. Just look out for it. The house tour, possibly. We just need to get this place kind of like all the way set. We have had a lot on our plate and priorities have uh, you know definitely gotten away. So one day there will probably be a tour. Of this place we love it we love it. we've been here for like four months so far upstairs downstairs our previous place uh was two bedrooms one bathroom and we used to fight over that one bathroom all the time so this place we each get our own bathroom three bedrooms three bathrooms it's amazing i can say that i'm, I'm super blessed so this is our place if you were curious yeah Now that's doing this thing. I still got a decent bit of time before I need to prep my fire. Uh, I like to thank my OG across the street. I call him my OG because he's an original gangster and he been, he's been living in this neighborhood for a very long time. I mean, so long he actually was on a cruise to help build my apartments. He let me know that. Um, so since the years I've been living here, he's been teaching me a lot about smoking meat. He has like two or three smokers in his backyard. He even has his own wood. So he, he made sure I have my own wood that I need when I smoke my meat been teaching me everything I need to know. So I'm gonna share some of those techniques with you guys. So with, with no further ado, let's get the wood out. To be honest, I don't even know what kind of wood this is. Uh, he has told me this was the good stuff. It was red, he said it's perfect for my smoker. If I had an ax, I would chop some of this down, but I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get this bad boy kind of like really going. You know, I got some charcoal to kind of like help it out. Uh, a little bit of lighter fluid if I need it, but I don't think I will. These pieces right here, he told me to use these pieces to get the, the, the wood started. But this piece right here should smoke my chicken. I think I'm gonna throw on some sausages. Um, I have corn on the cob, Brussels sprouts, and maybe some potatoes. That's, that's the meal. So one thing that OG told me is if I want my meat to cook low and slow, have it like out of the indirect heat. So I have my fire on one side, open up, no grates. Over here on this side with the grates, I have my meat. There's no fire underneath it, so the smoke kind of like builds through. As well, the smoker has this like chimney thing on the top. You want the smoke to flow through to there. That's my understanding. So that's the techniques he's told me. I'm gonna try that today. This is the first time I did the chicken. Um, I've smoked turkeys and uh, mainly turkey, ribs, but the whole chicken, this is my first time. So let's give it a try. And I love cooking with wood. I don't know why, I just makes you feel like I'm like camping or something, <laughs> like cooking in nature, but I love just starting wood, getting it to the point where it can cook a meal for you. All right, so I got a couple things I forgot to add to my brine, maybe make it a little bit better. Uh, some sliced lemon, some lemon juice, 
Um, and maybe just a little herb, rosemary and some thyme. I'm gonna I'm a soak that in there. I forgot I did have fresh herbs for that. Um, so let's go ahead and add that in there. And then I'm gonna try, I'm trying to let this sit for like at least another hour or so. Again, it, the, the longer the better. I wanna say we, we did an overnight um, on our turkey and it came out perfect. So maybe a couple hours, that way I can get this thing started and we can have this for like supper time. It, it's not gonna make it for lunch. So I'm gonna have to shield it, we'll figure out lunch. I wanna make it like a jerk chicken, put like jerk season on the, on the outside, make it smoke jerk. Or do I wanna uh, like put cayenne and chili powders and peppers on it and make it like a kind of like a, you know, a chipotle or uh, kind of like a southwestern smoked chicken. It's the best way I can think of it. I'm like Mexican style, you know, cilantro at, and we can make, make tacos with it. Um, so with my brine, uh, since I did add a little, a little lemon and a little cilantro, um, I think I'm gonna just kind of like marry the two together. I'm gonna put a little jerk in there, uh, some spices and some cayennes, chili powders and some chipotles. Um, and then, yeah, see what comes from that. This is experimental. This is uh, Caribbean dog food I just kicked over. This is a Caribbean Southwest smoke chicken. I guess, I just made that up. Okay, I think I may have convinced Love to take a, a little break so we can go outside before, you know, it gets the hotter part of the day. It may still get up to 100. Um, but we can ride around the parking lot in our area while my wood's kind of getting prepared. Um, we'll give the chicken another hour or so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys are ever wondering, cause Shannon wants to talk about it, like where's Shannon on the weekends? She actually drives for like Instacart. Me and Shannon don't stop working. We work every day of the week. She works five days a week, 40 hours a week for a pharmaceutical company. I do the same with the Crazy Middles, 40 hours a week. And then when I get off, I blog, I edit, um, I send out information to brands, as well as um, I may be working on other projects like weddings, Ken Seattle's birthday parties, things like that. And that's like my weekend, um, my days before I go to work, and then my nights when I come home. So it doesn't stop. On the weekends for Shannon, she'll go in the morning and she'll like grocery shop other people. This, this Instacart. You grocery shop for people, um, she sends it to their home. She does it for like four or five hours. She'll probably be done midday by the time it's lunchtime. Um, so we don't stop working, it's not a stop. It's not that we, you know, just can't say that we don't make enough money. It, it's expensive to live in the city of Phoenix. And we have goals, aspirations, and dreams, so we can't do the minimum. At this age, while we still can, we have to just go double hard. That way, we there is like room for retirement and relaxation once we get a little bit older. So in the meantime, we're going all in. Maybe one day, because Shannon talked about it, maybe we'll go, um, and work with Shannon on the weekend, drive Instacart, and grocery shop for other people and deliver it to their homes. That's what we do. So that's how we're making our extra money right now. Uh, yeah, it's nonstop. When you are your own boss and you run your company, there are no hours of operation. Um, I know you see me work with the crazy middles, but I'm an independent contractor with them. I, John Bishop Jones, work for Bishop 57 Studio Productions, which has a contract with the crazy middles. So I'm working my business even when I'm with them. That is the main source of income. They keep the lights on here. Um, now the brand deals and the money I'll get from YouTube and um, one day I'll hopefully I will start Merge and then the, the other outside jobs. I plan on having seven streams of income, um, continuous revenue that comes in. Maybe a couple that I don't really have to put a lot of effort into and they just make money for me overnight. That is the goal. That's what everyone should be trying to do. It's, it's 2024, it's just, not easy out here. So there's no excuses. Um, you won't hear me complaining. You just gotta keep it going. So that is where Shannon is. That's what we do every day, nine to five. It doesn't end, no. it stops. It's just, we all got 24 hours in a day. 
what are you doing with your 24? I'm trying to do the best of mine. I, I need a couple more hours. It's not enough hours in the day to accomplish the things that I want to get done. So I got to make do with the time that I have. Yes, these definitely have to be the biggest Brussels sprouts I've ever seen in my life. Holy Brussels sprouts, get the bag open. Like, I feel like I may have to cut these into fours, like I'm gonna have to quarter these. I normally only cut them in half. Look how big that is. Okay. Love taking our sweet time. Um, I just sit down and edit and get this vlog out for you guys. I'm testing out a couple different times. Normally I, I post in the morning, like bright and early in the morning, six o'clock um, on Wednesdays, so, and sometimes Saturdays or Sundays. Today's Sunday. I have a long way to go. I really want to get this vlog out today. So I might try, if I am able to, I'm going to post it tonight. Um, if not, it will, it will come out tomorrow. But if it's tomorrow, I'm going to try the nighttime. Mainly because the other day when I got home from work and I kind of sat down and relaxed on the couch, I was watching YouTube and I noticed that some, some creators were posting that time and it made sense. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm home, I'm off, I'm off of work. I, I'm sitting on the couch. I would like to sit back and relax and watch a video. Um, and then I know other people, they probably wake up in the morning and they do that or they um, possibly do it at, on their lunch break. Um, so I wanna test out all of those times. It's just strange because we're in Arizona and we don't have like a time zone, so everything kind of stays the same. So I'm gonna try to test it as close as possible to what I think may be a general, you know, for everyone. So we'll test out nighttime. Um, it'll be like dinner, um, after work, relaxing with the family, you know, after you decompress, take a shower and like clocked out for a little bit. So that's, that's we're gonna try that and see how that works. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, if not, we'll switch back. But I'm just trying to do what's best, um, you know, give you guys what you like and the best time that works for you. And that way I can get the most views as well. That's important. But the odds aren't in my favor. Right now, I mean, I sat down, I'm trying to work and I have no internet access. I went and reset my router and then I look at my phone and I see that there is an outage in the area and they will keep me posted. I'm at that part where I need internet for sure. I'm, I'm laying music down and I need to download stuff from the internet and I don't have it at the moment. So, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what else can I do in the meantime to stay productive. Shannon's here. Hey, Shannon. Everywhere. She showed up with some lunch uh, real quick because it's like three o'clock. Uh, I actually let that brine a lot longer than I thought. She showed up with some Jack in the Box. Did y'all know Jack in the Box had wings? Let, let's see what this is all about. This is what I got. I got the wings. You got them right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. This one looks crispy. Yeah, I'm gonna get back. We're gonna get right to those. We're gonna get right to those. But I need to get this fire started so uh, I can throw the meat on. I started the brine at 10. It is now 3.30. That's pretty good. It's not 12 hours, not 24, but I'll take it. I'll take it. You my baby. Having fun. Me and Love just sat back and watched uh, Crazy Middles drop a Sunday. I'm supposed to be dropping a video today. I want. I'm gonna do it tonight. Crazy Middles, Everything Kylie, Building Beauty. If you didn't go see that bloopers video on Everything Kylie, you gotta check that out. That was amazing. That just shows you this. That's my life. All the time. All day. Every day. Here's a little snippet of it. Like your head look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Look ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Where your boyfriend at? <laughs> Is he coming back? Can I have your Is number? Can I have your number? 
HR! <laughs> okay. Who are the human resources? <laughs> oh, who is it? It's you, man. I need it. You it's got to HR. Yeah. <laughs> She's all, shut up! <laughs> you can't talk like that! <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yeah. Am I gonna and get written up? And we're walking. And we walk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know how to turn. We're walk. Why are you like? You're like. She's like, and hello. <laughs> this will be me. We should try again. So now, in wait, am I standing back here? Yeah, you're, you're like over to the side. <laughs> I'm over. You're right there. there. You're good, right there. Well, I was on this side. This is on my side. Oh, <laughs> then trade me or something. I'll be. All right. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> we try to be serious around here. Be okay. serious. Okay. <laughs> Don't start that. Don't start that again. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. No, it's oh, gonna no. happen. <laughs> Remember what happened last time? Oh, no, it took I could not cry. It's gonna ruin my makeup. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Took us forever to take those. <laughs> so other, the other day we tried to record and Kylie couldn't stop laughing, oh, and we finally—I think we finally gave up. Something really got in me. I don't know okay. what happened. Are you good? I think I'm good. good? I'm gonna okay. be serious. Okay. It's about the decor. Let's go. Okay. Serious decor. This is serious. <laughs> serious stuff. stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> No, I'm going to do it. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Think about spiders and lizards. Think about something. Very serious things. Nothing. Scorpion. Literally. Oh, my God. Snake <laughs> soup. <laughs> but I really need to sit down and edit, and I still don't have Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to try to get some type of editing done. I just need music. I have. I'm up to that point where I need the internet for sure. Um, or unless I just download it from my phone. It's just gonna take way too long. I, I just wanna put a video out today. Um, yeah, so let's see what I can do. If not, I'm gonna just find the music that I have already on my computer. I don't have to download anything, maybe some old music. This is this is the problem I have to run this very once for a while, but I wanna get this video out. But at the same time, I can't get the video out. I can't even upload it, I don't have internet. And even if I had a video done, completely done and edited right now, Ready to upload. I couldn't. I couldn't even upload it if I wanted to. Because there's an outage. What do I do? I have no idea. Go right there. So this is. Break. One's front break, one's back break. You need to figure out which one's which. So, back break? Front breaks. Front break. Yep, front brake right there. Okay. So, you and you want to go heavier on the back brake, you know how that is. It ain't like a flip over top of bike. Cool. Cool. She's enjoying herself. She said, we. I haven't heard that in a long time. She's such a lady. She just wants to ride the bike in a dress. She has on shorts. I'm not sure she put on shorts. I can't convince her to take the dress off. I'm gonna get her some knee pads. She's just such a lady. She wants to wear dresses all the time. That's all she wants to wear is a dress, even when we're practicing how to ride a bike. Oh, maybe I, I we got it. We, we got to throw some things. The other thing is, she is definitely outgrowing that bike, um, or outgrown the bike. Um, and I would have the next bike, I would have to buy training wheels. She needs to learn how to ride this bike with no training wheels first. I want to buy another bike. Uh, one if there's so many problems. I'm failing as a father. All right, helmet's on. Let's go. She got her, her winter gloves. We get you some bike gloves. So she gave up on her bike and pulled out her scooter. At least she has options. So chick is pretty much there. At that point where I need to like crisp it up. I'm gonna put it in direct heat. It can crisp up on the skin. Um, we're pretty much ready to eat. We may sit back and enjoy outside. I got a Pictionary, we put some Pictionary. Sit back and relax and enjoy that. So yeah, let's go.
Okay, so it is now 7 p.m. That's four, about four hours later. Chicken's still on the grill right now smoking. Uh, that gives it about four hours of smoke time. Um, so yeah, it, it should be nice and tender and juicy. Um, that gives it six hours of brine, four hours of smoke, about 20, 30 minutes of crisping. The family's ready to eat. Seven o'clock, I'm about to pull it off. Sausages are off. Uh, we didn't do the, the Brussels sprouts. I went with artichoke instead, as well as corn on the cob. Yeah, that's it. Right there, let's, let's dive into it. That's a crispy bird right there. Crispy on the outside, tender and juicy on the inside. You got it, Bubbles. She said it right, sit at my desk. Yeah, she moderating in the background. So yeah, this is ready to go. just done. That's the best chicken I've ever had in my life. I, I, I'm gonna have to say that. Mm. It's so good. Like, I don't I can't even explain it. Moist, flavorful, it's delicious. It's juicy. It's crispy too at the same time. Oh, so it's, it's everything. Chicken. Yes. Thank you. Won't he do it? Won't he will? Okay, guys. Another great video, another great week in the books. We got the Hangouts family, went shopping, played some games, he had dinner, all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't sit down and chop all this up so I can give you guys a vlog tomorrow. But until next time, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, Tunnels. Bye. Bye, Tunnels. That's, that's who y'all are. Tunnels. Y'all are the Tunnels. The TVs. The TVs. Look at that. My TV, TV, my TV heads. <laughs>